Hi, this is Mrs. Alexander, and I'm going to make this short video showing you guys how to log in for the first time using your Project Lead the Way username and password on the Canvas website. I'm also going to show you how to change your password and how to change the settings so that you can set it up for your essential time or whatever time zone you may be watching this at. First, go to myPLTW.org. Remember to use Firefox or Google Chrome. Uh, Internet Explorer doesn't work that great. Sign in using the username and password given to you by your instructor. It's generally some form of your first and last name for your username. Sometimes there's numbers following. And then the password is like a six-digit number. For our school district, we ask that students set their password to their lunch codes. That way teachers can help them reset it up if needed. Once you log in, you're probably going to see my PLTW at the top left-hand corner. You're going to see your username in the top right hand corner with a little drop down arrow right up here. And you're going to see courses towards the middle of your screen. The first place I'd like everybody to go to is to your username, top right hand corner, and click the drop down arrow. Find where it says password. Go ahead and click password. Type in the current password that you were given that you just used to log in. Then change that password by typing in the one you would like here and confirming it once more. Once you have changed your password, let's say to your lunch code, press save. The next step is to go into your settings under courses. So click courses. This is going to take you to a screen called the dashboard. Everyone's dashboard looks a little different. Mine shows the class that I teach, Principles of Biomed. This is the 2016-17 school year, and these other two things are courses that I'm enrolled in. You may have another course there from like engineering or computer science or something that you've previously taken in the biomed program. Um, go ahead and click on the course you're currently enrolled in that you're wanting to change the settings for. Okay, you should see something that looks like this if you're in my biomed class. The top left-hand corner shows your account. Mine has my picture. You're able to change that picture, um, but yours is probably just a little blank bubble there. Go ahead and click on account in the left hand corner. This is going to give you some choices. Profile, settings, notifications, files, e-portfolios. First, I'd like us to set up settings. So click settings. If you take a look at your settings, you'll see full name, display name, sortable name. Leave all those the same because that's how we arrange you in the gradebook by last name, first name. However, you do need to make sure that your time zone is set up correctly. I'm filming this video in Missouri, and so the central time zone is what I want. I think that Project Lead the Way comes preset as having a different time zone. So come over here to the right-hand side where it says Edit Settings. Click Edit Settings. That will allow you to edit these settings in the middle of your screen. Again, leave the names alone, but just come down here to the time zone and make sure it says Central Time Zone USA and Canada. Or if you're watching this from a different time zone, make sure it's correctly set up for yours. Then press Update Settings. Click it, Update Settings. And that updates your settings. And if you notice, it now says Central Time USA and Canada. The next thing I'd like everyone to do is I'd like everybody to either go in and set up a personal email address or most of you guys use a cell phone to communicate and get assignments and information online. If you are able to, I'd like you to set up a cell phone under here because there's a way that you can go in under notifications on the left and set up notifications for when it's time to get an assignment turned in or something's been graded or comments or feedback. So let's say you submit an assignment on the due date, um, like during class, and you have until midnight to get it turned in. Well, if I'm on there grading and I realize you've submitted something incorrectly or you submitted the wrong file, I may go in and send you a comment that says, hey, this assignment doesn't lock until 11.59 p.m. tonight and you submitted the wrong one, get it turned in on time and I'll still grade it. But if you don't have any way to check that, like it doesn't come to your phone as a text message, you're going to miss it. So it's a good thing to have contacts set up. So go ahead and click Other Contacts and press Plus. This is for cell phone. If you'd like to put your own personal email, use the Email Plus. So Contact Method Plus. This is going to say register your cell phone. You're going to put your cell phone number here, area code, along with your phone number. You do not have to fill in where it says SMS email. It will automatically do that for you like when you choose what company you use. For example, T-Mobile, it already fills it in for you. 
So I have T-Mobile, I go in here, I type my cell phone number, and then I press register SMS. A button's going to pop up and it's going to ask you for a code. It's going to send you a text message right now with a code. If you don't have access to your phone right now, you'll have to wait till you get home to set this up. Go ahead and enter the code. Um, if it says some weird error message like cannot receive or send, or you're sitting there waiting for a long time, go ahead and exit out of this and double check because sometimes it registers it instantly and doesn't even need you to type the code in. Other times we have a couple finicky phones that we have to work around. So type in the code that it just sent to you and then check to make sure that your contact method is entered. The next step to this video, after your contact method is entered, is to change your notifications. You can pause the video now until everyone's got their cell phones registered or continue to watch from home. Click notifications in the left hand side. Under, no under notifications you will see your preferences. These preferences can be changed for your email address and for your cell phone number. Notice I'm only showing an email address here for my school work email. If you just set up your cell phone, it'll have an email address there and most likely your cell phone number. Go ahead and check the X mark, meaning you don't want any preference notifications being sent, except for these three. I want you to choose due date, grading, and submission comments. Those three are really important for you to be notified right away, either immediately or at the end of the day. Sometimes I'll grade on a Saturday night about 10 or 11 o'clock, and if you don't want to get a text message from Canvas from Project of the Way saying, your teacher just graded you this, here's their comment at 10 or 11 o'clock, if you'd rather have it at the end of the day, then choose at the end of the day instead of immediately when. So you can click the check mark for right away or the timer or clock for send a daily summary. Put X's on all the rest all the way down. Again, check mark due date, grading, and submission comments with either check mark or clock. And that will allow you to see immediately or at the end of the day what we've graded, what we've made due, or what's coming up to be due, and what comments we've made. All right.